Welcome to our channel. This view will captivate just about anyone. On the plateau of the Peruvian Andes lie the ruins of the ancient city of Machu Picchu, which literally breathes a mystical atmosphere. Here, one can admire well-preserved temples, gardens, terraces, and many other buildings shrouded in a veil of mystery. Even today, no one knows why this city was actually built in such a remote location in Peru. Similarly, it is unclear who ordered its construction and why. Will we ever succeed in uncovering the secrets of this incredible complex of buildings? In this video, we invite you on a journey for answers. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get started. On July 24, 1911, the academic from Yale University, Hiram Bingham, spotted the ruins of a pre-Columbian city, now known as Machu Picchu. The combination of intricate lines and symmetrical stonework left an immense impression, more harmonious and graceful than the marble temples of the ancient world. Considering that no mortar was used and there were no unsightly gaps between the stones, it was as if the walls had grown already finished. With the splendor of white granite, this construction surpassed the most beautiful Inca walls in Cusco, Bingham noted in his diary. Although not the first person to visit the ruins, he is considered someone who brought Machu Picchu to international attention. Many other researchers subsequently built upon his work. They all strive to determine the purpose behind the construction of the city in such a remote location. What has been discovered about this ruins in recent years? Not much is known about Machu Picchu. The reason is the fact that the Inca civilization did not have a written language and also no text has been preserved on the ruins themselves. Therefore, there are no written records of the site from the time when it was in use by the ancient people. Machu Picchu was built on a promontory surrounded by the sacred Urubamba River. When looking at the ruins engulfed in clouds, visitors feel dangerously high in the mountains, as if standing among the gods, says contemporary British author Sarah Bartlett. According to her, the Incas believed they were chosen to build a new civilization in the Andean region after a period of political unrest and wars. They called themselves the Children of the Sun and created the largest empire in pre-Columbian South America, Bartlett explains. This empire began to be conquered by the Spaniards in 1532, led by Francisco Pizarro. Stories of incredible treasures of the Indians waiting to be discovered begin to spread in Europe. It is perhaps not surprising that in the case of Machu Picchu, there is sometimes talk of the possibility that the city is located in such a remote place for this reason. Does it perhaps hide some treasure? In any case, the Spaniards did not discover Machu Picchu in the 16th century. The Incas left this area as if overnight, and no one knows why. Over the years, the surrounding jungle overgrows, and the existence of the city is forgotten. This changes many years later. The ruins of Machu Picchu are currently being explored by researchers from various parts of the world. They are trying to uncover the secrets of this enigmatic city, which is shrouded in mysteries hidden in the depths of the past. It is one of the most iconic and culturally intriguing places in the world, reminds British author Sarah Bartlett. The city could have connections with astronomy. This is suggested by the local stone called Intihuatana, or the hitching post of the sun. Its position holds astronomical significance because on the day of the winter solstice, June 21st, it is precisely aligned with the sun. The Incas believed that this stone held the sun in place, and they performed ceremonies to ensure that the sun remained there, claims Bartlett, who also points out that the Incas simultaneously lived with the conviction that if the stone were destroyed, their gods would leave and the world would be turned upside down. Legend has it that if you touch the Intihuatana stone with your forehead, you will see the world of spirits. What did they mean by that? And could these legends be true? Machu Picchu makes an absolutely impressive impression. Similarly to elsewhere in the world, here we find Cyclopean walls consisting of many stone blocks. They appear to be assembled from stone blocks that fit together so perfectly that no mortar was needed, says contemporary Italian journalist and researcher Giulio Di Martino. How did people manage to build it without any modern technology? One of the largest worked boulders is 3.5 meters long, 1.5 meters wide, and estimated to weigh up to 200 tons, notes Giulio Di Martino, who considers another surprising aspect of Machu Picchu, the fact that initially, there was not enough space on the rocky slope to build the complex, 
so up to 25,000 tons of earth had to be transported from the valley lying 400 meters below. The entire operation had to be carried out solely with human power, at an altitude exceeding 2,500 meters above sea level, where the air is already very thin. According to him, this raises a number of questions. Who was able to cut and assemble the stone walls so perfectly? Who put in so much effort and energy for this? In short, who transported the huge stones to the top of the difficult to access mountain, and who managed to stack them so perfectly? Clear answers are still lacking. Various researchers exploring Machu Picchu come across more and more unbelievable facts. In one of the oldest rooms, we find two mortar pots. Some believe they were used for dyeing clothes, while others consider them part of an astronomical observatory because when filled with water, they could reflect the movements of the stars, allowing the local people to study them better," notes DiMartino. And he's definitely not alone in thinking so. Many other researchers also associate Machu Picchu with astronomy. Some even argue that ancient civilizations were much more advanced than many think today. Will textbooks soon need to be rewritten? The last inhabitants of Machu Picchu were the Incas, but before them, someone else probably lived here. There are countless theories about who built the stone city, says Di Martino. The topic of the arrival of the Incas to the ancient city of Machu Picchu is the subject of much debate and theories among historians, archaeologists, and anthropologists. There are various opinions on whether the Incas were the builders of Machu Picchu, or whether the city already existed before their arrival and was later adapted by them. One theory suggests that Machu Picchu was constructed before the arrival of the Incas and was an existing city. It is argued that the city exhibits various architectural styles, with some stone constructions showing signs of older megalithic architecture that differ from the classic Inca construction techniques. Similarly to megalithic ruins elsewhere in the world, at this location in Peru according to him, some architectural elements seem to be literal stone computers, determining equinoxes and solstices. The Temple of the Sun is said to be a building related to the equinox. It was through its windows that the sun could be seen rising and setting on this day, says Martino. The three-window temple was used for accurate observation of the stars and the sun. A staircase carved into the living rock leads to it, right on the edge of the mountain ridge, with a stone resembling a throne at its summit crowned by another, smaller monolith called Intihuatana, adds Di Martino. Does everything fit together like a puzzle? The current Brazilian geologist Rualdo Menegat is convinced that Machu Picchu was intentionally built in areas with tectonic faults. Over millions of years, these fractures are said to have provided an abundance of stone that eventually provided the builders with the building material they needed. The location of Machu Picchu itself is not a matter of chance, it would be impossible to build such a place in high mountains if there were no mentioned faults," Menegat states. According to him, this mysterious city was thus constructed simultaneously with tectonic activity, which he considers to be crucial. All these incredible facts lead some enthusiasts to believe that whether the Incas or another ancient civilization built this city, they had assistance. This refers to paleoastronautics, a hypothesis suggesting that in ancient times, Intelligent beings from another planet visited Earth and made contact with humans, subsequently influencing their development significantly. According to this hypothesis, a large part of human knowledge, religion, and culture comes from extraterrestrials. Visitors from another planet allegedly also constructed many structures on Earth, such as Stonehenge or the Great Pyramid of Giza, or at least helped humans in their construction. Did they truly contribute to the creation of Machu Picchu? Or did the Incas manage it on their own, as scientists claim? In addition to the possibility that the purpose of Machu Picchu is somehow related to astronomy, there are also other theories about why the city was actually built in such a remote location. Some researchers believe it was a summer residence of the Inca ruler. Alternatively, it could have been a kind of monastery for Inca women. There is also speculation that certain rituals took place here. And there is no shortage of the hypothesis that Machu Picchu was used as a prison. There are countless theories about what Machu Picchu was used for. Which one is true? Be that as it may, research on these mysterious ruins continues, revealing more and more surprising facts. Recently, for example, 
Donato Amado Gonzalez and American archaeologist Brian Bauer concluded that the Incas actually called the city Huayna Picchu, named after the peak towering above the ruins themselves. Until now, many had assumed that the name was derived from the nearby mountain Machu Picchu. What amazing and mysterious discoveries will be made in the near future? That's all from us for today. If you're interested in videos filled with mysterious mysteries, dark stories, legends, or monsters, and you crave more, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos.